Hi, and good afternoon. Uh, it's Gene again. Uh, welcome back to uh, part two of uh, of listening in. Uh, as I said in my last video, I'm a ham radio operator, and I live in uh, in central Iowa, uh, outside of uh, Des Moines. And uh, I wanted wanted to do a series of videos to talk to uh, homesteaders and and preppers, and you know even campers uh, who who are uh, spend some time in remote areas, or if you live in a remote area. And, um, I'm here to tell you and explain a little bit about radio and how radio could benefit you um, in certain situations where there might be power outages or communication outages. And today I want to talk uh, about two basic things. I want to talk about two parts of the radio spectrum, uh, which you're, you're very used to and you've been around a lot, but you just maybe don't realize it if you're a non-radio person, uh, if you haven't dabbled in radio. And, you know, we're all kind of we're all kind of end users and we're certainly end users of uh uh, telephone technology or cell phone technology, which is in the VHF range, and that's one of them that we're going to talk about. And the other one is a, a, a spectrum or part of the band spectrum called HF. HF stands for high frequency. VHF stands for very high frequency. And those uh, two applications are used in everyday things. We're very used to HF, high frequency, uh, when we listen to AM radio. And AM radio has been around for Many many years, and it was the uh, the first uh, um, medium uh, that they broadcast on back in the days before TVs were invented, and radios were actually uh, the first um, mass media piece of equipment that was distributed uh, amongst you know us everyday people uh, to gather news and information. So, and radio came way before TV, and that was all AM radio, and it was analog radio. Uh, today we have digital, and I'll I'll get into that probably in the next. Uh, segment of this to explain how digital has kind of affected us. But obviously, if you're looking at this video, you're looking at it on your phone or on your computer. So this is digital. Okay. So, but I'm going to talk about the analog side uh, as well as how that interfaces with digital too. Because uh, when it comes to like AM radio and HF, uh, there's more than one way to listen into it uh, to make it make it viable. And uh, today, again, I'm going to talk a little bit more about antennas so you understand antennas and how antennas are used Mainly today, I'm, I'm going to talk about um, receiving, being a receiver, like you would every day. Uh, a few years ago, there was a movement uh, that was taking place, and it was um, an attempt to turn most of the AM band into digital or to have digital radio stations. And this is probably back in the 90s when this started, and there was an organization, uh, a couple organizations that were trying to make the transition uh, for AM radio to move to digital uh, so they can obviously g gather up that radio spectrum and use it for other things, <laughs> such as Internet. Uh, but that never happened. Uh, it kind of stalled out, and it kind of fell on its face, and we never heard about it again. It may still be out there somewhere, but uh, not like it was. And the um, uh, the situation is they were planning on having uh, all radios or all AM radios having like uh, a digital band on them or digital capability, and that never happened because uh, every car that you buy today, there's many cars that I, I I've seen new cars and they do not have any digital capability in them for AM radio. They still have analog, AM and FM radios as well as like Sirius. Uh, serious uh, radio, which is, you know, digital satellite radio, but that's a different add-on, uh, like an aftermarket add-on, but um, it's mainly your AM radio is an analog system in your car, and that's why there's still, uh, it's still uh, around as big as it is, and I don't see any uh, future change, so AM radio is, like, still very viable for emer emergency communications in a lot of way, in a lot of ways, but I just want to show you uh, some of my antennas to give you some idea on how uh, the type of antenna that you may, could use, or may use, to receive AM radio, uh, and it's better always to have an outside antenna. And uh, there's three things about radio communications that all of you need to know that ham radio operators and radio people learn uh, when they get into radio is there's three special things, and it's called antenna, antenna, and antenna. So antennas are everything, and that's why I'm trying to explain that a little bit to you. But I'm going to go back in an area here, and I'm going to show you two basic... Uh, antenna systems. I, I talked about my ham radio system, which is a long wire, and this is the uh, the Baloon, uh, which is for a balanced line for the uh, HF, my ham radio, and I'll show you that later. But alongside of that is this antenna, and you'll see it has a little little box with a switch on it, and it's, it's diamond shaped. And I put it on this piece of, of conduit to act as an antenna mast, and this receives both AM radio and shortwave. So this actually acts as a shortwave antenna. 
and not so great on short wave. Um, we could do a better job. In fact, I'm planning on switching this uh, this antenna out for a long wire uh, as soon as the weather gets a little bit better. But it does a pretty good job of receiving AM, especially local AM. Uh, and this runs into uh, my shack through here. Kind of goes in through the window over there where all the wires are at. And so this antenna provides the feed into that uh, into my radios on the inside. I have more than one type of AM radio, but I also do... A, what they call an SDR, which is a software defined radio, uh, which is used on a computer. So I'm going to explain that in my next video and how that, how that works. And this is for HF. Okay, so high frequency HF. So in the next mode that I'm going to talk about is VHF. In VHF, VHF is much like police radios or what were police radios they've all gone digital that's all changed out um, and the uh, the family type radios that you see in Walmart um, actually they're called the uh, uh, family radio service and also GMRS general general radio service and those radios are all VHF some of them are UHF uh, which is up in like the 440 spectrum uh, but that I won't get into uh, that too much because I don't want to complicate things but most of most of the radios that were out there back in the day were VHF so just think VHF high frequent very high frequency or ultra high frequency and HF high frequency so and high frequency is occupied things that uh, by things or by equipment that you would understand such as AM radios regular AM radios that you would have in your car or even CBs CBs are on the HF band uh, as well too and there's a whole story behind uh, behind CBs and why they ended up on the HF band, but that's a story for another time. So alongside,